All right, so um, I wanted to make a video about Bitwig and how to set it up with ASIO Link Pro. And honestly, the ASIO Link Pro part is fairly universal for most DAWs that, you know, have this kind of layout, like Ableton. A this is a lot like Ableton. So much so they even have a Ableton link. So you can, you can sync your shit with Ableton. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. But so, anyway... It's actually really easy to set up. First thing you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna do, and I will link this in the description. But uh, you're gonna want to get ASIO Link Pro, which is gonna be this first download link here. Now I would tell you to get the patchers, but for whatever reason they don't work anymore. So I'm gonna be including a different fix in the description of the video, as well as the link to this website, as I said. But yeah, you're gonna wanna download that. I'll just download it. <laughs> you download that. You get ASO Link Pro. You run this, right? No. Okay, it's gonna. You're gonna go through the installation. I don't feel like updating it. I don't want to break the fix or whatever. But you want to update it or up or fucking download it. Oh, my bad. Install it. It's gonna ask you if you want to install 16 WDM or whatever 16 devices. You want to install those as well. And um, what that does is it creates 16 virtual inputs. You can see them all here and outputs. I guess technically this would be inputs if you do it the way I do it, but this, you get what I mean. It creates 16 virtual devices. I guess technically 32 if you're adding them, but whatever. As far as Bitwig goes, you want to go to your settings, your audio, right? Now your driver is going to be ASIO, and your device is going to be ASIO Link Pro. And when you select that, right, it's going to open up ASIO Link Pro, and it's going to ask you to pick a driver. And you're going to pick your interface's ASIO driver. Like if you have like a PreSonus or whatever, it'll say like Audio Box, or if you have Focusrite, it could be Focusrite USB. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck it just reloaded everything, but sure, whatever. Uh, after that, it, you want to set inputs and outputs. So input buses with ASI Link Pro go based off the speakers. So these these ones here, these gray this gray line of numbers plus these big green ones, these one and twos all pertain to one device. So this is the left and this is the right of the first, you know, speaker out. This is the left and the right of the second one. This is the third, fourth, fifth, blah, blah, blah. It goes up to 16. Same deal with the microphones. The yellow ones go to those. And they the yellow ones have their own little line of gray that you connect to. And these are all specific for routing. Basically, the way it works is if I want you to hear something, then I will route the yellow ones to a... Uh, whatever numbers I want here and that just goes for example with microphone out right and you can label these and my mic out down here is set to five and six if you as you can see five and six mic out right here set to mic out and that is going to five and six which is going to the very first mix out which is my default so when I show you that <coughs> So now whenever I open up a game or whatever, people will automatically hear whatever I send to this channel. And it's, you can see it labeled right here. If I turn this knob, now whatever people in a video game can hear this, right? Uh, same goes for like Discord, for example. Right, Discord, I have that one going to like 7 and 8 or something. Or, no, I don't. <laughs> I have that one going to 9 and 10. You can see 9 and 10 right here, which is going to be speakers or... <laughs> It's going to be mix 5, so mix 5, right, discord, and it's pretty simple, discord out is going to 9 and 10, which I have connected to mix 5, when I open up discord, you'll see that in my settings, my voice and video, my input device is going to be mix 5, right, because I've told these numbers to go to mix 5, so anything I send to those numbers will go to mix 5, which means, you know, discord will hear it. Same idea with recording, right, I have them going to 7 and 8, right and that's going to be 
mix four, right? So you guys are hearing, if you look at uh, OBS, you guys are hearing mix four, as it shows right here, because that's what I told the uh, little lines to go to. It's very simple. And, uh, yeah, I mean, shit, dude, that's, that's how that works. It's just very basic, connect the dots, basically. And the same goes for the speaker part, right? If I want, say, my microphone to get heard, well, my, my microphone is in my interface, right? So my, that just goes to the very first, like, mono input, right? Microphone in is going to two, which is my second channel on my interface. Guitar ends going to one, which is my first channel on my interface. That's my instrument input for my Audion Evo 4. And I have those selected here. Like, guitar in is just, you know, I, it's renamed, but that's one, right? And microphone is two. So that's what I have set here. And if you look here, one is my guitar, two is my microphone. If I talk, you know, if I, you can see the, those go up when I talk. Those are what those are, you know, set to. Guitar room is its own thing that's not really uh connected to any numbers i just have this going to that my guitar is going to that now discord is taken from uh, speakers three so five and six right here so if i go to discord in the settings you can see my discord one is set to five and six because five and six is getting routed to uh, speakers three right and that's going to be my output device in discord and uh you know desktop's going to three and four the default uh, device for Windows is speakers one. So three and four gets routed to speakers one right here. Three is left, four is right, one is left, two is right. And I, you just write those. I have desktop right here selected to be three and four. And if you look at my desktop track, it's going to desktop. I have the monitoring turned on. If you, you can't hear it, if you, uh, like if I turn off monitoring, like this has to be yellow for you to be able to hear it and you know, your sends to be able to hear it. And that's uh, universal for every of these audio tracks. The You don't need to do that for the uh, effect tracks. They're called effect tracks in this, right? Effect tracks, these are just return tracks if you're using Ableton. Primarily, and you want to switch, these are the same thing as return tracks. These are the same thing as audio tracks. They're called the same. Um, it's very simple. And this this is identical for Ableton. I mean, Ableton does the same shit. You gotta turn on monitoring, you gotta set the numbers, and you gotta write the, sh the little fucking lines and shit. So, I mean, they're, they're both gonna be seamless. They're gonna use the same. That's, that's really it. <laughs> you know, uh, there's not much else that goes into that. It's just connecting the dots, telling which device to go to which numbers, and asking those numbers to get outputted to a specific device here. And if you want to go, you know, deeper with it, right? If you want to say, listen to your browser or Spotify, if you want to listen to Spotify, right? You can just come down to sound settings. I go to volume and device press preferences. And on my Spotify, I have that outputting to speakers four right here. And if you look at my speakers four, that's going to nine and 10, which means, you know, obviously my browser, which is also my Spotify, is going to be going to nine and ten, right? That's very simple. I that's all it, that's all it is. It's just connecting the dots, and then after that, it's uh, you know turning these knobs and stuff. Like my monitor goes straight to my master, which is automatically going to default to my headphone output on my interface. So the more I turn out monitor, the the more I hear myself. You can I'm sure you can hear that in the uh, you know the background or whatever, and uh, you know same goes for everything. I want people in Discord to hear me. I turn up the Discord. Very simple, right? Easy peasy. That's that's really how you do that. It's that's it, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I'll include the little fixer because, like I said, um, the ASL Ink Pro Patcher doesn't work, so you have to use this right here to fix it. But other than that, you know, it's very straightforward. Just connect dots and shit. That's what I would recommend doing. Now, like I said, you know, this you have to. Pretty much have to have an interface for this and if you don't you can i'm sure you can probably find little workarounds for it but you're gonna you're guaranteed to get latency it's going to be problematic like with this you get zero latency like i got five milliseconds dude come on nobody you don't notice that it's good it's quality it works good 
I recommend doing it like this. This is probably the best way to set it up. People, you could try out uh, like synchronous audio router, but I feel like that's going to have shittier results. I recommend choosing ASL Link Pro. So yeah, there's that. Thanks for watching, and please give me more video ideas. Comment them. I need them. I don't want to sit here and fucking, you know, <laughs> just kind of figure shit out. That's so much easier when somebody just asks me to do something, and I can just do it. It's great. Alrighty. Hey, join my Discord server, too.